Let's to stay a while longer on matters of business because the Deputy Finance Minister, Dr. John Kuma, says comments by the ranking member of Finance Committee, Dr. Kesoa Tofosin, purporting that government and the Bank of Ghana had been engaged in an illegality by printing some 22 billion Ghana cities as falsehood. The Member of Parliament for a for Ejiso affirmed that the action is within the, pro the powers of the central bank and does not necessarily means that there is any new printing of notes. I want to start by reassuring the house and the country that the anchor is holding and the center is firm. It is true that there are global economic difficulties of which Ghana is also suffering. But the assurance is that the center is firm and the anchor is holding. Mr. Speaker, the Honorable Speaker who spoke before me said the Finance Minister came here to speak English and didn't speak economics. And the economics I heard this morning from him is that if BOG, Bank of Ghana, grants overdraft or forward length an IMF SDR facility of 4.5 billion and gives a net drawdown deposit of 6.1 plus the overdraft of 11.4 which constitute the 22 billion. The economist he understands is that Bank of Ghana has printed money. This is the worst economist I've ever heard. If this is the economics we are being taught this morning from the NDC and our brothers in the opposition, then it is very, very, very bad for this country. Mr. Speaker, if you read Section 30 of the Bank of Ghana Act, clearly it is within the, 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 the remit of the law for Bank of Ghana to grant overdraft and support to central government without printing money. And I am surprised that just this signal is the meaning of economics to our friends on the other side. No wonder they left us with a doomsaw economy. Mr. Speaker, the finance minister in this book, Economics, and told us about the state of where we are currently. And we have agreed right from the beginning of the year that we shall stick to fiscal we shall stick to fiscal consolidation and ensure that we are able to reposition the economy from the difficult position that we find ourselves. In the beginning of the year, government in 2022 budget announced that there will be a fiscal deficit of 7.4 from the 9.4 we did last year. And furtherance to that, the government announced a 30% discretionary cut in fiscal activities. Mr. Speaker, that is reflected in the mid-year budget, where the fiscal deficit has further been reviewed downwards to 6.6%. That is an indication that the government is committed to ensuring that indeed the fiscal consolidation and the measures that we are putting in place to ensure that 